Now, to say that the past few months have been tough for Huawei will be an understatement. In a first, the Chinese tech giant has accepted that it underestimated the impact of American sanctions. Despite this, Huawei CEO Ren Zhengfei remains defiant. He is confident that the company will bounce back. In an interview, he said that the firm's revenue will dip to around $100 billion in two years. And this is as the Trump administration blacklisted Huawei over security concerns. It has banned leading American tech giants, including Apple and Google, from doing business with Huawei. We did not in our initial assessment expect it to be this serious. We had made our preparations just like an old airplane. We had only protected our heart and our fuel tank. We did not protect the other necessary components. So in the next two years, the company will suffer a setback. Our output will drop by $30 billion and so our revenue would dip to around $100 billion this year and the next. Amid an escalating trade war between the U.S. and China, Huawei CEO also refused to rule out a political conspiracy. Relevant U.S. companies have moral conscience. They are great. As Huawei's development in the past 30 years was realized amid support and help from globally advanced companies. Our current setbacks were caused by some politicians' different views of things. But we didn't expect that the U.S. would be so strategically determined to take such wide-range measures against Huawei. However, we deem that relevant U.S. moves are not able to stop Huawei steps forward. Now, if you're a world leader, birthday gifts make headlines. Any gifts make headlines. Chinese President Xi Jinping turned 66 over the weekend, and he got a special gift from his Russian counterpart, Vladimir Putin. But nowhere in the same league as the gifts that other world leaders have received over the years on different occasions. The next report has some interesting lists. It was a birthday celebration with friends and gifts, but not an ordinary affair. Chinese President Xi Jinping turned a year older on Saturday. He was on a work tour to Dushanbe, the capital of Tajikistan to attend the Conference on Interaction and Confidence-Building Measures in Asia. Also present for the conference was Xi's special friend, Russian President Vladimir Putin. And you can count on your friends to surprise you on your birthday. Putin chose to make Xi's day special in his own trademark style. The leader was ready with a special treat. Some ice cream flown in all the way from Russia. As the two leaders celebrated with some champagne and cake, they looked back at some of the good times. <laughs> Birthday of Chinese leaders are extremely private affairs, quite literally. Discussing the private lives of senior leaders is rarer. In fact, the exact birth dates of most of them are not revealed publicly, as they are considered a state secret. When you are a world leader, though, birthday gifts make headlines, especially when it's received from a fellow world leader. And all the more so when ties between the two nations are not as sweet like in the case of Russia and China. In 2015, then Pakistan PM Nawaz Sharif sent a box.